early in the morning. That's a song, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle with you here. Like always, if it's your first time here, I'm really excited to have you. And if you've been here before, like I always say, you are the realest of the realest. You're the real MVP. Before anything starts, please go down to the subscribe button and hit subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell as well right beside it so you turn on post notifications. Like this video. Share this video. Comment as well. Follow me on my social media handles. Um, I will leave them on the screen like always. <laughs> okay, so this video today is going to be about the practice of non-resistance, aka let go and let God, aka the universe will work in your favor, or the universe to do what it wants to do, aka let go and let God, let's be honest, <laughs> but the practice of non-resistance, and I'm going to be sharing my experience on that whole, on this whole topic with you, I'm still dry. I'm going to be sharing my experience with you when it comes to non-resistance. So for the most part of 2017, I was absent-mindedly practicing non-resistance. I had gotten to a point where I tried different things out and they didn't work. And I was like, you know what? What would be would be. I think that's what I was trying to make it sound like really extra French. I mean, I don't speak a word of French, but we all are. Anyways, um, yeah, what will be will be, let go, let God, you know, let him have his way. So you should let go, let God, let go, let God, let go, let God, let him have his way. Hey, <laughs> hey Jesus. <laughs> I'm, 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 very, I'm a very jovial person, if you haven't noticed, so I am. Uh, my mom was the first person who talked to me about the practice of non-resistance and she had said to me that you know many times <sighs> Shut up Thank you. She had said to me that you know many times we try to Influence things in our lives. We try to make things go the way we want them to go without realizing that if it's not meant to be that way It won't be that way a lot of times God wants to you know do something in our lives or has a plan for us and we now feel like, nah, I want to do it this way, I want to do it that way, without realizing that that's not the way God wants us to do it. So God wants you to go left, but you want to go right. You start to go right, even though he wants you to go left, you start to go right, and on your way towards the right side, as you're moving right, you now realize that, ah, something is wrong, and everything on the right side just doesn't look right. It, the right side doesn't look right. <laughs> Everything on the right side just doesn't look right. It just, it just doesn't look every time. It's just not going right for you. It's not going well for you. And you're wondering why. And you fail to realize that it's because that's not where you're supposed to be. It's never too late in life. It really never is too late. I've learned that. You can start, you can start something when you're 40. It doesn't matter. It's almost sudden when you're 20. It's not how fast you get to the top. But how well it's not how it's not how quickly you build a building or how well you build the building or how well your foundation is laid to build the building to construct the building it was something by buck Minster fuller and he said and i quote we never change things by fighting the existing reality to change something we build a, a new model that makes the older model obsolete or oh, sorry that makes the existing model obsolete you don't change something by fighting what is there. In order to make something change, you just build something better than it and you find that the old one or the existing one begins to not be important, begins to diminish. Nobody really cares about it anymore. You know? My husband is. Nobody really cares about it anymore. And it's like in our lives, a lot of times we try to fight situations and fight scenarios. So something is happening and we're trying to fight against it. We don't want it to happen. But I realized that if you just choose to ignore it and do what you want to do, you find that what you're doing or what you're trying to replace what is there with just overpowers it, overshadows it. Example. Example. You have your cooking. I always make examples of food. 
you happen to be cooking and you add too much salt you add too much salt when you're cooking in order to rem remove the salt you're not going to be able to fight the salt in the food or try to remove the salt from the food you can't do that you're just going to have to put new things into it that's going to make the salt the excess salt diminish so potatoes in letting go and letting god a lot of times i learned this i learned this the hard way it got to a point in my life where i was like you know what i'm never going to try you know to replace things with whatever or try to get things done myself whatever is going to be would be i was i would just put my mind towards something i would prepare for it definitely and i would pray and i would leave it and i'm like whatever happens happens because i know i've tried what i can my human i've done my what's humanly best to do you know to achieve the goal i want to achieve to achieve what i aim to achieve and because drop the scope and because i know that there's only so much i can do there's only so much you can do to influence your current situation if it's not going to work it's not going to work if it's not it's not i remember uh, a close friend of mine at some point in my life a couple of years ago was talking about he was he had an event to plan and he had done his best you know honestly he had done his best or he was doing his best and he was talking to someone and the person that said oh how's your planning going and he says oh it's going well and the person is like ah so is it that you've done everything the rest is for god abby and then he now said god has more important things to do so he's going to have to handle this himself. Yo, I rolled. I rolled on my bed, I rolled in my chair, I rolled everywhere. I was like, what? What do you mean by God has more important things to do? Did God tell you that he takes care of his children according to importance? So like this person is dying and this person is planning an event and this person is praying for my help in their event and then that one is dying. So I'll first answer the one that's dying before I answer the one that wants to plan an event. No. Simultaneous. That's how God is. How many of us are in the world? If God wants to do, oh, I'm asking the important ones, ones first. So he goes one by one. How many people would have died? How many people would have given up? How many people wouldn't be doing what they want to do? You can't say that God has more important things to do. The whole point of you letting go of your situation and letting God do what he wants to do. That's the only, The only reason why you're letting go of your situation and letting God do what he wants to do is because you believe and you know that he's your father and he's going to take care of you. You know, the Bible says, For I know the thoughts I have towards you, thoughts of good and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Like, the end is expected. It's expected that you would do well. It's expected that you would prosper. To give you a prosperous end. So why are you on about, oh, now nah, he has more important things to do? Did he tell you he has more important things to do? I don't think so. I don't think he said that. You know, sometimes we need to learn to not resist what's happening in our lives you know something is happening and you're working at your very best to fight to not make it happen life doesn't work like that what will happen will happen you know a lot of times we see the signs we see the symbols and then we're, we're doing oh no i don't want it to happen oh no it's not going to happen it's not going to happen but at the end of the day Charlie, what will happen will happen you can't you can't hold back you can't you know, push back what's supposed to happen or delay it. A lot of times we try to, we try, we think we're trying to cancel out what's happening. We don't realize that we're just delaying it. What's going to happen is eventually going to happen. So you saying that, um, you know, let me not do this now, let me not do that now, let me do it then, let me do it then. The end is still going to be the same thing. So why not just get it done when you when it's supposed to be done? Example, in uni, people didn't like to check their results when results comes out. I remember so clearly. Once I hear results is out, Michelle has opened the CMS to check her results. Because I don't want to see, oh, or I don't want to hear, oh, I was seeing A's and B's and then all of a sudden I'm seeing D's and F's. Never. That was never me. Why are you trying to check the results three weeks later? Is it, is the, are the grades going to change? You know what you wrote. You know what you wrote inside the paper. You know what you, you should calculate and expect your grades before they come. A lot of my, in fact, almost all my grades, 
I already knew what I was going to get before I got it. I wasn't, I wasn't for me, oh, a miracle will happen. A miracle will happen. I knew. I'm getting a B in that course, I know what I wrote, and I will get the B. I'm getting an A in the course, I know what I wrote, and I get the A. You know, or I got the A. That's how life is. Let's stop trying to manipulate things. So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, please still give it a thumbs up. <laughs> um, comment down below, let me know. Share your experiences with non-resistance or letting go and letting God in your life share your experiences let me know how non-resistance has worked for you how it hasn't worked for you don't forget to follow me on social media instagram snapchat facebook and twitter hit me up on all social media platforms I promise that i do reply if you've messaged me you know that i do reply i do reply i do respond we can engage we can converse get together in love never forget that you are beautiful you're handsome you're gorgeous you're breathtaking you're gorgeous never let them make you feel like you are less than you are because my darling you are more than anybody thinks you are on this note i can safely say goodbye um for the muslims happy ramadan i think you guys are doing the fast so on this note i am I'm saying you got...